In this lesson, we're going to look at multiplying fractions. This is the first example of seven examples. We have three sevenths multiplied by two fifths. When we are multiplying fractions, do we have to have the same denominator? In other words, do we have to have the same number on the bottom? Well, the answer to that is no. That's only required when you're adding and subtracting fractions. So if we're going to multiply these, it's just a case of multiplying the numerators. 3 times 2, which is 6, and 7 times 5, which is 35. Can we simplify this fraction? Well, the answer to that is also no, so this is our final answer. Example 2, we have A over B multiplied by 2 over B. So first of all, multiplying the numerators, A times 2 gives us 2A. And then the denominators, B times B, which is B squared. Can we simplify? Well, the answer to that is no. So this is a final answer. Example 3, we have two brackets m plus 1 over m squared multiplied by m over three brackets m plus 1. So first of all, multiplying the numerators. So on the top here, we are going to multiply by m. So it doesn't matter which order we multiply. So what we have is 2m bracket m plus 1. On the bottom line, on the denominator, we have, or denominators, we have m squared times 3 bracket m plus 1. So again, it doesn't matter what order we multiply in. So we'll have 3 m squared m plus 1. Can we simplify? Well, this time we can. We have m plus 1 on the top, and this can be cancelled with m plus 1 on the bottom. We have m on the top here, and then we have m squared, which is like m times m on the bottom. So that means this m can be cancelled with one of the m's from the bottom. That leaves us with 2 on the top and 3m on the bottom. Uh, can we simplify further? The answer to that is no, so this is our final answer, 2 over 3m. Example number 4, we have 2h multiplied by 4 over 3k. Well, this time we only have one fraction, so how do we go about multiplying? Well, 2h, what we want to do is we want to make that into a fraction as well, just to keep things simple. Okay, and the easy, easy way to make anything into a fraction is just by putting it over 1. So 2h over 1 is just the same as 2h. So multiplying the numerators first, 2h times 4 gives us 8h. And 1 times 3k on the denominators is just 3k. Can we simplify this further? Uh, the answer to that is no. So this one is a final answer, 8h over 3k. Example number 5. This time we are given a triangle. We are also given some information. We are told that the base is m squared over n and the height is n over m 
and we are asked to find the area of the triangle. We should know already that the area of a triangle is given by A for area equals a half times the base multiplied by the height. So substituting in our values for base and height uh, the area of a triangle is a half times the base, which is m squared over n, multiplied by the height, which is n over m. So, in order to find the area of a triangle, we're going to have to multiply these. So, what we have at the moment are three fractions, and we are multiplying. Instead of trying to concentrate on three fractions at the one time, what we're going to do is just concentrate on... So, concentrating on just two at a time. First of all, we have a half times m squared over n. So 1 times m squared gives us m squared on the numerator and 2 times n gives us 2n on the denominator. Now we need to remember that we have still to multiply by n over m. Multiplying the numerators again, first of all, m squared times n gives us m squared n. And multiplying the denominators, 2n times m gives us 2mn. Is this our final answer? Well, no, because we can simplify. So we have n multiplying on the top and n multiplying the bottom. So these can be cancelled. Now we have an m on the bottom and we have m squared on the top. So remember, m squared is just like m times m. So the m in the bottom can cancel with one of the m's from the top line. That leaves us with m on the top and 2 on the bottom. And that is our final answer. The area of the triangle is represented by m over 2.